This is a hidden wisdom only known by experience. You do it long enough and you'll know what I'm talking about. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him the Father by saying words. Fun. My Jesus name is Andrew. Right. Thank you for joining us. If Holy this is your first time here, God make sure to subscribe. Today. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Every word of God has the power and ability to bring itself to pass. If you will speak it it'll come to pass in your life to us here at the society mm -hmm. this is a fundamental belief say fundamental belief. fundamental belief this is a hidden wisdom that you need to speak it to have it come to pass in your life i tell you if you can get that you've got a lot Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says thou shalt remember the Lord thy God mm -hmm. would that be good yeah. for it is he say he. he he that gives thee power to get wealth if I remember the Lord my God one thing that I will be remembering it is that he gives me power to get wealth mm -hmm. there's power in that verse of scripture to bring itself to pass say itself. itself if i will say it one drop of deuteronomy 8 18 is life-changing say it one drop, one drop. of deuteronomy, deuteronomy. 8 18 is life-changing life for in that verse of scripture is God's power to get wealth do you understand that yes. one drop of God's power to get wealth is that life-changing yes. is that finance changing yes yeah Psalms 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction well how do you send your word by speaking it you say your word so he sent his word by saying it and the said word healed them and the said word delivered them say that his said word, his said word heals me, heals me. His, said word his said word delivers me, delivers me. one drop of Psalms 107 20 is health changing Amen. change your health there's complete deliverance in that verse of Scripture for you but you have to say it to get the drops out of it Psalms 103 verse 5 says who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed one drop of psalms 103 verse 5 is age changing but you have to say it to get the drops out of it and to us here it is a fundamental belief saying god's word out our mouth in fact the holy ghost is god in the earth today mm -hmm. and we walk with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word listen this is how you are supposed to live Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God what does proceed out of the mouth mean spoken so man shall live 
by the spoken word of God did you hear that yes. are you part of mankind mm -hmm. how are you going to live by the spoken word of God by speaking God's word is this too difficult no. this is how we're supposed to live so far we've shown that his scriptures his promises contain prosperity mm -hmm. and wealth God's power to get wealth they contain healing and deliverance they also contain youth renewal are you here yes and as I was meditating on these things I believe the Holy Ghost said to me but why would I give those things to you and we read on here would that be okay yes Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10 Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve why would the Holy Ghost give these things to you because you worship him and you only say those things speaking in agreement with his word the reason the Holy Ghost will do these things for you is because you only say them you don't say something that contradicts those things yeah. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve I worship the Lord my God and him only serve that's why he does these things for me now this has become a regular occurrence either here at meetings or online where people who first hear me see me hear me or are exposed to this message mm -hmm. being exposed to worshiping the Holy Ghost as God or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost they'll say something seems off I can't put my finger on it but something seems off with me and the message of Holy Ghost word. are you here have you heard this yeah. please get in line never not once never considering one time that it might be them that they might be the one that's off doesn't even cross their mind something's off I can't quite put my finger on it John chapter 4 and verse 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him say they, they. That, worship him. that worship him so that would be a group of people that worship him him who him God the Spirit who is God the Spirit Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. so you have a group of people of they that mm -hmm. who've taken upon themselves the worship of God say God God, God the Spirit they worship the Lord their God and him only serve well I would never do that. And that that's what it comes down to they would never they would look for every other every other excuse they can possibly find mm -hmm. to not do that and my pastor doesn't do that mm -hmm. hmm I know in fact uh, a certain preacher that I know he used to say about me he'd say well I like him you know I like the way he dresses yes some people actually like the way I dress <laughs> I like his boldness of faith I like his delivery but then he'll come up to the place where he starts talking about worshiping the Holy Ghost and then I just I, I turn him off 
the point is he wouldn't go there he would not he would not go to I worship you Holy Ghost and therefore he couldn't go to where the worship of the Holy Ghost will take you which is somewhere that not worshiping him won't well to this I say if you knew the Holy Ghost as God if you knew him as God you would worship him but the fact is they know him as something other than God they think about him as a helper as a spiritual gift something but not God mm -hmm. okay if you knew him as God you would worship him as God therefore I can conclude that you don't know him the Holy Ghost as God it's as simple as that mm -hmm. pretty simple right yep. because when you come to know him as God you worship him That's right. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God the Spirit Lord thy God and him only serve I am a they that worship him say I, I am, a they am a they that worship him, worship him. The, Spirit Lord. the Spirit Lord I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today I worship you I know that they don't but I do I worship you Holy Ghost is that okay And he says to me, Nobody worships me only. They all worship in and by their traditions. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 7 and verse 13, making the word of God of none effect through your traditions which you have delivered. Who would have been delivering them? The preachers. And many such like things do ye making the Word of God of none effect well we know that in every word of God is the ability to bring itself to pass if we say it mm -hmm. the traditions of men have made that of none effect mm -hmm. not effective how much more ineffective could it be the answer is none more <laughs> there's a mixture they mix a little tradition with a little word of God a little tradition little word of God and guess what you get no. nothing none effect 1st Corinthians chapter 2 and verse for he says my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom man's tradition but in demonstration or revealing of mm -hmm. the spirit and of power his speech was in revealing say revealing, revealing of the Holy Ghost and his power that verse 5 that your faith your belief mm -hmm. should not stand in the wisdom of men or the traditions of men but your faith your belief would stand in the power of God Amen. the God that he was revealing would have been the Spirit God verse 6 says how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect or mature verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto what our glory so there's a hidden wisdom in speaking that is for our glorification there's a hidden wisdom in speaking that is for our glorification are you getting this yet 
he was revealing the spirit god to people and then he said they were to speak a hidden wisdom a hidden mystery unto their glory it's the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the world unto our glory we speak mm -hmm. this hidden wisdom unto our glory meaning we keep doing it until we are glorified are you here yes we speak unto or until glory it's how we do how do we do we speak I worship the Holy Ghost as God and I live by every spoken word of God are you getting this mm -hmm. oh that doesn't sound right you're too late for me I live here I live on this side of the mystery it's hidden to many people but here it says it's not hidden to us now remember every word of God has the ability within itself that's how we started mm -hmm. every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass in your life mm -hmm. if you will speak it <laughs> do it long enough speaking his word and it the speaking of it becomes an act of worship we worship him and then speak his word thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only serve we're speaking his it becomes an act of worship the act itself of speaking his word becomes worship this is a hidden wisdom only known by experience you do it long enough and you'll know what I'm talking about I have become the word spoken I'm transformed into that thing said second Peter chapter 1 and verse 21 for the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so the holy men of old holy men of God mm -hmm. spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so we have the Holy Ghost's words already we don't need a specific revelation oh God give me words to speak the scriptures in your mouth are more powerful than your special word from God <laughs> you should rather pray God which verse would you have me commit to say and speaking his word becomes an act of worship are you here mm -hmm. I hope I'm getting this across and I become that spoken word I am that say I am, I am that. that Isaiah 55 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what is that spoken it's the spoken word so shall the spoken word be it won't return void so shall my word be that spoken it shall not return to me void my life is his word not void I am NOT returning void but I am returning now in review one drop of God's word is 
life-changing one drop of deuteronomy 8 18 god gives me power to get wealth is life transforming transforms you from one thing to another thing what thing that thing spoken mm -hmm. if one drop will transform your life what will large doses of it do thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people and that they've learned how to walk with you as God in the earth and nothing shall be able to stop us from going on in the greatness and the things that you have we walk with the one who has all the abilities and his word is full of complete and perfect power and as long as we put his word in our mouths there is nothing that can stop us we worship you holy ghost in jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost you are the living god, god. The living i worship god. you and serve you and serve you. you give me god. richly all things, all things to enjoy thank you for it in jesus name, in jesus name. amen in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God.